Hey guys, are you shopping for a sewing machine to do upholstery with? Well, you're going to want to make sure that it's a walking foot sewing machine. Don't know what that is? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it is, how it works, and why you need one. Alright, so you can see here that this is a walk-in foot sewing machine and it's called that because it literally looks like the feet are walking. You can see here how you have the needle foot, which is the inside one, and it moves separately with the needle. And then you have your presser foot, which is the one that's moving independently from the needle and the needle foot. The reason why this is so important to have two separate feet moving independently is because when the needle penetrates the fabric and it moves it backwards, say you have three layers of fabric, it's going to hold those all together so that nothing moves while it's moving forward on the fabric. And when the needle foot and the needle come up and move forward, you have the presser foot holding everything in place for you so that nothing moves while you're sewing. This is going to come in really handy when you're sewing anything like seat covers or just anything with foam or anything where you're sewing more than two layers or multiple layers of fabric and foam together. That's why in automotive upholstery it's so important to have a machine just like this. Now you can see here how the needle foot and the needle work perfectly in line with the feed dog which is on the bottom there and what that does is help move everything along together without making anything misaligned while you're sewing. This feature is going to make your life so much easier when you're learning how to sew that it's not even worth it to try and f figure out if you can go with a cheaper machine that doesn't have this walking foot feature. All right, so you can see how nicely this sews through two layers of fabric, but let's see what happens when we sew through a seam just like this. You can see how the walking foot just climbs right over it with no problem. And if you think four layers of material is something, let's try six layers. Now you can see how that walking foot what it does is it just steps up right over all those layers of material with no problem and so straight through them without misaligning anything. And now after six layers I'm gonna go ahead and try ten. And you see how that just mows through that with no problem at all. Now I understand that in most cases you're probably not gonna be sewing through ten layers of vinyl but that's not the point I'm trying to prove here. What I'm trying to show you is how thick of a material that this machine can sew through and how easily it does it without misaligning anything at all. So this is two layers of half inch foam and two pieces of vinyl that we're sewing together. This is a very common seam that you guys will be doing and it just does this without any problem at all. It doesn't misalign anything. And if you think that wasn't enough, let's try and sew that piece with the seam to another piece of vinyl and half inch foam, which by the way is another common thing you need to do in any type of automotive marine or aviation upholstery. All right, so now that you guys can see how important that is to have a walking foot machine for this type of upholstery, I hope that's going to help you when you're buying your machine. Because trust me, if you buy the wrong one, it's really going to be a nightmare for you. So just make sure that you find that nice walking foot machine and it's going to make your life great. And also, if you guys wanted to learn anything more about the upholstery tools in this industry, I wrote an article called Tools of the Trade. Who doesn't love to buy new tools? I know I do. So go ahead and check it out and it'll show you all the different stuff that's available for you to help you out while you guys are learning new upholstery. All right, I'll see you guys next time for another video from the Lucky Needle.